Here on this dial, we see a beautiful mountain peak. The mountain peak is one of the five peaks that Japanese explorer Naomi Uemura uh, climbed and scaled, and today we are unboxing the Seiko SLA-069. Let's get this box going here. Um, white because of the mountain peak. Um, there you got the warranty book and the instruction booklet in there about the movement. Um, you know, the boring stuff. Let's take a look at this watch. And uh, we got the foam insert there. And interestingly enough, they've been doing some of the higher SLAs in these little yellow bags we saw in Astron's. Here, check out this uh, box. When one dream is realized, other dreams will follow. Naomi Umura. Um, this is the mountain peak of Mont Blanc. Um, and that is the same mountain peak we see on the dial. What's interesting about this is Seiko looked at several different angles, um, trying to get the perfect angle for the mountain to put on the dial. And this was the way um, that Umura climb the mountain um, this is the path he kind of would have seen heading up towards it you know it's the path he head up uh, to the mountain peak and here we go um, behind the plastic but uh, it is still stunning even just fresh out of the bag like that and you can see the the blue details on the bezel here just stunning in on the crown now this one is uh, a reinterpretation of the Seiko's 1970s uh, watch and this is affectionately called the Willard and I know a couple of people made the point and me too is that maybe we should change the name from the Willard to the Amura because he is an actual person who's accomplished many things in his lifetime and there you got the safety and um, it's got the usual uh, tsunami case back there with that comes with the dive watch I know who is Naomi Umura. Let's take a look at him here. This is the man here that the whole watch um, honors. He, We had a couple editions of the Umura, uh came out last year. This is the first one where we have uh, a mountain peak on it. I think it's really nice that um, Seiko is honoring this man. He's Japanese, he's part of their culture. Here is the watch he wore. And so he actually wore this watch um, on his trips to the mountain peaks. I know it's a dive watch and we're talking about, uh, you know, mountain climbing, but dive watches are a little sturdier. Um, that's why he had that dive watch uh, on his way up to the summit. And here we go. Um, the movement in it is the 8L movement. Uh, it's a special movement. We'll get into a little more as we um, continue talking about the watch. I got a nice shot of the movement. You can see it in there. And so the blue on the bezel and on the crown uh, is supposed to represent the, the shadows of the mountain Mont Blanc. And um, it just is a cool effect. You know, it's kind of got that, that glacier style dial. Um, here at this angle, you can't really even see the mountain, but it's in there when you see it. So it's still a very uh, easily uh, legible dial. It's not like the mountain, you know, sometimes you get a dial and the dial's got so much going on, you don't really um, notice, you know, the time as easily. But that clear white dial, you got the texture to it, you got the mountain top to it. But as you can see here, is really easy to read. Only in certain lights does the, the mountain top really kind of jump out at you. So this commemorative watch is a reinterpretation of the 1970s watch original, um, 1970 original that he had. And you got the texture dial with the distinctive silhouette of Mont Blanc um, with that pattern background. And it echoes the mountain's rocky, snowy surface. You can see a picture of it right here. Um, so you can see how it looks in real life compared to the dial. And I will bring up the dial so you can see it in a second, just to see how stunning 
this really looks. It, it's so simple, but so clean and so nice. Um, they used uh, a pressing and etching technique used to give the dial the depth and uh, to bring the 4,807 meter peak to life. Um, again, the dial is represented at the same angle from which Umura began his ascent. Now the case is carefully polished. Um, the band is a five row steel bracelet, uh, just a real slick modern look to the 1970s uh, reinterpretation. And here we got, because um, Seiko Prospect watches are ISO tested, you have the date um, in between the four o'clock and the five o'clock. So that's all of the um, 12 hour markers are visible uh, and you can really see it with the Luma Bright. And we'll take a look at it when we go ahead and look at it in the dark. This maximizes you know, the legibility because previously, if you had the date there, that you would be missing um, that little marker on it. So let's talk about the movement now. And um, the movement is a caliber 8L35. Now this movement here, I got pictured there. Um, it's basically, you know, a starter Grand Seiko movement. This movement was designed specifically for diver watches and it's hand assembled by Seiko's most skilled craftsmen and craftswomen. Now the case here on my wrist, um, the case has got the, the super hard uh, coating on it and of course, you know, it protects it from scratches and the crystal is a curved sapphire anti sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating and um, it's on the inner surface so you, it's legible from every uh, angle that you can see the dial. Um, this is a limited edition. There's only 500 of these uh, watches worldwide and uh, just overall great look to the watch. My wrist uh, here is a seven and a half inch wrist and the diameter of this watch is 44 millimeters so it is a little bigger but the way Seiko designs their watches they, they kind of like curve to your wrist so it doesn't really feel like a large watch you're wearing it's actually pretty comfortable I've discussed this in other videos and I haven't mentioned it in a while but uh, Seiko watches even the bigger size ones feel um, like they're part of your wrist and that's kind of a neat uh, feeling to it. It doesn't kind of stick out. So when you're running around on the boat, you're dealing with, um, you know, the dive tanks, you're moving around a lot. It's not like this big awkward thing that's kind of poking out. It's really, really um, a good fit to the watch there, uh, the way it kind of fits around your wrist. And the power reserve for the 8L is a 50 hour power reserve. It is a 26 joule movement and that is 28,800 vibrations per hour or eight beats per second. And here we can see it um, with the loom in the dark and you can see how bright and easy that is um, to read. This is a diver's watch. So of course um, it's got a water resistance to a real 200 meters and um, it's got the case drank, uh, excuse me, the case uh, screwed case screw down crown and um, the screw back of course on there and again this watch um, is, goes for a retail price of 2900 and it is a limited edition of 500 so this is a great watch um, honoring a great man Naomi Omura he was born in 1941 in Toyoka City and um, he joined the Alpine Club. He began his career. In four years, he climbed Mont Blanc, Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Akanaka, uh, and Denali. And you can see here with the loom, um, it's just a, a great overall watch. And uh, there's lots of videos on Umara on YouTube and stuff. 
uh, that just talks about the man. I can't really explain everything to you about him right here, but he was a great Japanese explorer, and I'm glad that Seiko is continuing their tradition of honoring the man who wore their watch. And let's take one last look at the watch. Thank you. Please like and subscribe to the video uh, if you're interested in this watch at this time that this video has been recorded. We have a few of them available at depalas.com. Uh, shoot us an email if interested in one of these fantastic timepieces. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.